Hello dear all, today we are going to discuss about the how to make uh, NDVI maps, uh, what is NDVI, uh, so what is NDVI, NDVI is a normalized difference vegetation index, it is a index of a line juice line cover, so here we are going to discuss uh, and read something, you know, some little information about the NDVI, uh, you can clearly see that here the information about NDVI is always ranges from minus 1 to plus 1 but there, it is not a distinct boundary of each type of a line cover for example when you have a negative value it is a highly likely that it's water or other and if you have an NDVI value very close to plus 1 there is a high possibility that is a dense green leaves but the NDVI is close to zero there is a likely no green leaves and it could be even a urbanized area NDVI is a most common index that the analysts used in remote sensing but how do you know to calculate it what is the NDVI value represent how do earth scientists use NDVI this is a basic definition of NDVI non-NDVI is a normalized vegetation index quantifies the vegetation by mirroring the difference between near infrared which is vegetation strongly reflected and the red light which is reflected which vegetation absorb so this is the basic formula that we are going to use uh, in our statistics and this is the major representation of NDVI as you can clearly see that the near infrared that are 50% uh, uh, and visible 8% on the other hand near infrared is 40% and uh, while visible is 30% for by using the NDVI index you can also monitor the health of uh, cropland health of leaves health, health of forest here are some examples I will be share this link in the description of the video so you can uh, read it for more information now we are going to click uh, on uh, the side of the software so first you need to open our arc map Okay, now we are in our map here and we are going to add the data uh, for NDVI we require band uh, 5 and band 4 if you are using the Landsat 8 satellite or Landsat 9 I am going to use the imagery of Landsat 9 uh, so first you need to add data so I am going to add the data this one is the shape file of USA okay and uh, going to add the data of Landsat these are all bands and uh, I need band 5 and band 4 so I'm going to add these two bands now it make it hollow and uh, you can clearly see that the imagery behind them zoom to layer okay these are all uh, layers now i am going to properties of this layer and uh, click on label button and check the label and choose name type 2 all the names names are display here so we choose this one is Dallas. okay we are going to choose uh, this one is a select future tool by clicking here you can select this layer and data then export data and here you input the name Dallas then okay okay the layer is exported here now we are going to remove the main layer and uh, here is this one is Dallas layer now we are going to uh, click on search bar then search a tool name as raster calculator okay here is the raster calculator here you need to input uh, these bands images okay the first you need to use to function that is float function 
uh, minus the band 5 this one is band 5 band 5 minus band 4 then divide sign then again float function then again band 5 this one is band 4 okay we are going to use load function again then input here band 5 plus band 4 then click on ok button okay the tool is running uh, now you are going to search the new tool name as extract by mask then click on search button this one is extract by mask okay in this uh, input roster or future mask here you need to input your this layer okay due to some reason uh, this one is not pick the data so we are going to rename it this one is band 4 okay now we are going to again our roster calculator then use float function and 5 minus band 4 divided by float function band 5 plus band 4 then click on ok button next tool is extract by mask here you need to input this layer talus and here you need to input your this layer you can also click here and drag down here okay the layer is extracted then we are going to uncheck all these other layers and uh, here you need to input the color ramp okay the 10 screen is represented the vegetation these are all vegetation that are representing in our study area while the blue one is represent the other color and uh, now we are going on other side of legends how to add other legends for this purpose you need to simply go insert here is an option north arrow edge legends dallas and extracted image you can add these are all map element from here thank you so much all of them and uh, we will meet again in our next video on and the bi normalize difference build up index thank you so much all of them